Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode of Sex Ed with Tara. I can't find my teacher glasses today, so I'm just gonna have to be regular Tara for this sex ed. Hopefully that doesn't disappoint you guys too much. Anyway, this week we are gonna cover the topic, why is sex really taboo? This is one of the most asked questions by the subscribers who like me, and is one of the most misunderstood by the poor souls that dislike me simply because I make videos like this one. So before you hit enter on your run of the mill slut comment, take a moment to listen to what I actually have to say. It might alter your perspective a bit. So whether sex is or isn't a big deal, I'm hoping Hoping you guys can learn something today about how the other side of the argument views it. In my experience, sex is pretty taboo in America, and even more so in many other parts of the world for a few reasons. Believe it or not, there are places in the world that are much less understanding about sexual openness than America. I know, sometimes it's hard to believe for me too. Can anyone say first world problems? Anyway, yes, there are still countries that disallow you to have sex with someone outside of your marriage, or outside of marriage in general, by law. So why is that? In those countries, sex is seen as either only a means of procreation, or or something that only a husband can enjoy and at his leisure, i.e. for his pleasure only. Some of these places still refute the existence of the female orgasm. These things are not only backed up by law, but they're backed up by something more powerful than law, and that is religion. You can imagine it is very hard for women in these places. In America and other parts of the Western world, it's more about your upbringing and how you were raised. And sometimes it's about religion as well. A majority of people are taught that sex is supposed to be something that's private, shameful, unless it's shared quietly between a husband and wife, or in a committed relationship, only. Because of this, men usually seek a women that have had no other sexual partners or have had very few sexual partners, and no one really feels okay talking about sex in a public forum. So if you are one of the people who was raised this way, it's no wonder that someone like me, who shouts her sexual preference from rooftops, makes you cringe or leaves a bad taste in your mouth. So if sex is private, shameful, and is only to be shared with extreme exclusivity, then what I'm doing must have some kind of ulterior motive. I must be bad or morally bankrupt, right? I get your thought process. There's the flaw in what a lot of people think about sex. Some people think that how they were raised or the ideals that they were raised with are the correct ones. They can't think outside their religions or beliefs to see that everyone's different. What is wrong to you is not factually wrong. And what makes sense to you might be completely incoherent to others. It's all about perspective. This is why when women work on their appearance, sleep with a lot of men, or talk openly about sex, they are seen as sluts, attention whores, bad people, or unintelligent by many who were raised this way. They think that these people must have no redeeming qualities if they act this way, because if they were smart, good people, they wouldn't have to be sexy. Because sexy is bad. Or it has to be exploitative. They don't even think about the fact that you don't have to be anything. Some people just have different hobbies and like different things. And trust me, it's not just women who have it bad. Men who sleep around may be called assholes, man whores, or might not be considered boyfriend material. It's not all high fives and damn good job mans. For men who like sex, like a lot of people think. In fact, a man who's open about his desires is considered disgusting often among many women. They call men pigs, perverts, can't take their jokes, say it's sexual harassment. It sucks. Well, guess what? Some people are just more sexual than others. Some people are more open about sex than others. Some people don't see it as shameful or exclusive. And some people have goals for their appearance that has nothing to do with anyone but themselves. This person. Some people are just different or raised to think differently. That's just how the world is. I can't say it enough. People are different. So instead of judging someone because they're sexy or like to have sex, why not just be interested in them and what makes them different? Try to put yourself in other people's shoes. On the flip side, don't make fun of someone who wants to save their virginity and try to understand where all of the slut comments are coming from instead of getting offended and retaliating for no reason. They don't know you personally. They're just attacking you because you don't believe the same thing they believe in. No need to even take things like that seriously unless you actually have a problem with the fact that you're a slut. Anyway, factually, sex is natural. Whether you hide it or not, sexual release is healthy for both genders, improves the mood, and is the only way we can survive as a species. We've evolved to have emotions and deeper thinking, so why can't we have sex just for pleasure? Just like we create extra bonds and eat tasty food just because of the pleasure it brings. Some other mammals, like dolphins, have sex for fun too sometimes. So who's to say that's not natural or not something we should be doing as humans? We're overpopulating the earth as it is. I don't think everyone that has kids should be having kids. As long as someone isn't personally attacking or hurting you, why do you care what anyone else does anyway? Focus on yourself. Hopefully, no matter how you were raised, this has made some sense to you and has shed some light on the other side of the argument. I'm here to bring understanding. Let me know what you think about this topic, and as always, let me know which topic I should tackle next time. My sex ed isn't just about anatomy and tips. It's also about understanding the differences in the people around you. Acceptance. Love. And liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you in two weeks for the next Sex Head with Tara. Bye guys. Oh, and keep fucking. As quietly or as openly as you'd like. Mwah!